I can hear you now. Oh, yeah, this is Misty again. I called in. Oh, hey, time. Misty. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I just wanted to drop a little tidbit here because I've seen a, a, just two quick parts to what I want to say. I agree with you guys 100% on the fact that a lot of single mothers, they actually raise their sons based on what they want at the time and what their needs are and not actually raising them to be from under their roof once they get older. Mm -hmm. So now you have the um, young boys that are catered to their mother and they don't know how to survive out there on their own with women because they're so conditioned um, to what their mother wanted them to do. And I've seen it with, uh, sadly to say, some family members and, you know, it, they, would, they would beat their sons when they decide to think individually or think differently from what they are, as if punishing them and saying, you can't be your own man. Um, and then seconds later, rewarding them when they relent and start to just go through the motions acting like, you know, like that she wants them to act. And that really breaks the spirit of these young men. But the one thing that I um, don't agree with is that once you become a certain age and you're able to think for yourself, you should be able to step out of that mentality and realize, hey, something's wrong here. Should I be carrying this kind of thinking into my adulthood? What my mother did wasn't exactly right, but it should not shape me into the man that I am now, now that I know how to think for myself mm -hmm. and I'm not a, a young boy anymore mm -hmm. having to live under my mother's roof and be um, molded by her. Thinking. Okay, so let me get this straight. So, Hold on, so let me get this straight. Yeah. You're saying that boys who are shaped and molded by their mothers should all of a sudden have that moment of clarity and just get it for no other reason but that they get older. Is that what you're telling me? They should just get it? No, that's not what I'm saying because it takes a process. They didn't get to the point of thinking and being molded by their mother overnight. So they're not going to come out of that mind frame overnight. But somewhere as they're living their life, should come a moment or a slight moment. Should come a moment. But here's the say, thing. Where's the point of origin? What's the genesis? Listen, I agree with you. But there has to be a point of origin. There has to be a genesis. There has to be an aha moment. But get, but here's the here's here's the flaw in your theory. When moms get a hold of their kids, they're young and impressionable. By the time a man is 30, 35 years old, he's held these beliefs his entire life. It, not even a catastrophic event that tells him to his face, yo mama fucked you up is going to make him think, hmm, maybe my mom led me in the wrong direction. That's the difference between a one-year-old and a 35-year-old is that aha moment almost never comes. This is why you see men consistently failing in the dating market. We see it all the time. They get used by the same women. The same shit happens. The woman cheats. She cheats with the baby daddy. The same things happen. And we all ask ourselves, why won't this guy just wake up? It doesn't magically happen that way. You said there should be there should be an, a, a time or an event in a man's life, but guess what? That time is not going to come. It doesn't just magically happen. There has to be a point of origin, and that point of origin almost never comes from the man himself. He never questions in his mind what his mother put in there. It's almost like the movie Inception. Like all of these ideas now go from her. Now he thinks it's him that thinks this way. Well, all women should be treated like solid gold. He doesn't realize that he is thinking what his mother put in there. So why would he question his own beliefs that were really his mother's? He doesn't realize that his mother has preconditioned him to think in this way. So his, so uh, uh, the genesis or the point of origin where he just wakes up and get it and gets it, it never comes. And that's why we see so many mama's boys continuing to fail in the dating market. Mm -hmm. And can I just say, can I just answer that? Um, yeah. just for a moment here, mm -hmm. because one thing that I never did say is that it should magically come. But one thing that you said in your statement was that they're constantly failing at dating and things aren't going right for them. So th for them to just see all of these failed relationships and see this pattern of events where it's not working, you know, whose fault is it when they're not sitting down and saying, hey, why isn't things working out for me and doing a little self scrutiny? Now, I'm not saying that the mother wasn't wrong because she is actually why they're messed up as an adult. 
but then they should take the time and wonder why things aren't working out for them. And the fact that they don't, Mm-hmm. And so they that's, don't say, well, mm-hmm. every relationship I have has failed. Mm-hmm. You know what, what's going on here? Let me let me let me let me ask you. Back and say, let me no no that that, that makes sense. Um, would you would you agree that most forty year old men have probably had more experience than most twenty year old men? I would. Okay, and why is that? Well, maybe, first of all, they were on the earth longer. Well, there, no, no, no. That's the only answer, right? They've been around longer. So exactly. And so, let me ask you this: You sound like you're you sound like you're someone who's a little bit older. Would you say that the average forty year old, the average forty year old man, what percentage of forty plus year old men get it when it comes to the dating market? What percentage of forty year old black men in the United States get it? When it comes to women, they know what to do. They know they know they know how to walk, how to talk, how to handle women. What percentage of forty-plus-year-old black men absolutely nail it when it comes to women every time as a result of their experience? Uh, I, I don't know. I there and there it is. Well, okay, there. Well, again, there, that's the crux of the situation. And I don't need any research to let you know. Not that many. Okay. So again, Mm -hmm. you can't, and, and I, now part of me agrees with you in terms of, and it's very easy for us to say, well, just man up, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot easier said than done. And we also have to understand not all men are created equally. Some men have a stronger resolve. Some men are more strong-willed. Some men are more weak-willed. It just, you're, it's, it's really a mixed bag out there, but to say that men should just wake up and get it after failing time after time, after time with women, we got met, we had a guy on O'Shea's show. His name was Unk, right? No disrespect to this guy, but this guy was giving me advice. Okay. About dating women. When this guy had been married to three single mothers, you understand what I'm saying? This guy was clearly, this guy was clearly older than I was. And this nigga still didn't get it. Clearly, he's been on the earth longer than I have. He doesn't get it. You want to know something? He's not the only one who doesn't get it. The fact is, is that most men don't get it when it comes to women. They just don't. So uh, experience be experience should dictate, you know, a man savvy as far as women are concerned, hypothetically or theoretically. Yeah, that should make sense. But we live in fucked up times and men continue to make the same mistakes. So that should, and, and, and I agree with you. If you keep putting your hand on the stove and it keeps getting burned, one would tell you to stop putting your hand on the stove. That exactly. analogy, well, yes, exactly. but guess what? But that analogy doesn't work with dating. Okay. There's no benefit to putting your hand on the stove. There is a benefit to going after women, and that's pussy. That's relationships. P- people compare relationships and marriage. Well, it's like playing Russian roulette. No, it's not. Russian roulette, if you win the game of Russian roulette, guess what happens? Status quo, you get to fucking live. Why would you say, hey, let's go play Russian roulette to get some sort of benefit out of it? What? What benefit? So people say, okay, well, if you go after relationships or playing Russian roulette, there is a benefit to going after women. Pussy, femininity, all that stuff. So so again, the reason why men keep putting their hand on the perver- on the proverbial stove and getting burned is because there's a benefit to that stove. Unfortunately, that stove doesn't burn him immediately. Most women, it's a slow burn and they don't under they don't realize they're getting burned until it's way too late and she's all fucking somebody else. So the fact that men should just get it if they fa- if they fail time after time after time, that's not going to happen because it's not happening and that's why shows like this exist. <laughs> 